Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this new video we're going to take a look to one very very interesting thing that is about uh, GPU acceleration for video editing, for rendering. And we're going to take a look into this using DaVinci Resolve. This is the software that I use to edit my videos on my YouTube channel. I have the studio version, but I will try it as well with the free version that a lot of you guys you can have. It's totally free. You can just get and download it from the Blackmagic Design website. And this topic is very interesting because nowadays a lot of computers, laptops out there, desktop, doesn't matter. They already have dedicated GPUs. Before it was a little bit more uncommon to have them or to see them in laptops that you can buy and get uh, just directly from the, sh from the shelf in every store, but nowadays are very common and I will just really tell you from the beginning I think this is an amazing thing. I think this is an amazing thing that now it's very mainstream to have a laptop with a dedicated GPU and if you are out there looking for a new laptop or a new computer just take a quick look into this video and see why and, and take a look to the benefits of having, a of having a dedicated GPU in this case. For my case, I'm going to use an NVIDIA graphics card in order to show you the performance with, an in with a dedicated GPU. And I'm going to be using as well one of the newest generation of Intel Core uh, series laptops that you can find in one of the newest notebooks, newest models from this day. And we're going to compare it because this one has no GPU and the other one has an older CPU but with a really nice dedicated NVIDIA GPU. I'm just going to be straightforward with the Resolve because this is a pretty, pretty quick thing that you can fix in DaVinci Resolve with one click if it is not already by default activated when you install DaVinci Resolve and it's going to boost your performance like you have no idea. Like it's going to really give you a very very high boost on how fast you can render out those videos that you create. So let's start. Let's start directly using the Razer Blade. I have the Razer Blade here studio. This is the 2020 version and it has an Intel Core i7 from the 10th generation. It is an 8 core, 16 thread CPU, quite CPU still, even if it is already like three generations old. And in the other side, we're going to use a Dell Latitude 5540. It has an Intel Core i7 from the 13th generation with 10 cores and 12 threads. And it is a pretty cool CPU from the newest generations Intel Core i7 mobile series laptops that uh, Intel launched this year. And it has also 32 GB of RAM. This machine of the Razer has also 32 GB of memory RAM. Today we're not going to use like any benchmarking tools or something that I will tell you with a number how fast it is and how, fa how fast it's not. We're going to use a real video, a real project that I just finished editing yesterday for my YouTube channel. It is like a, a quite heavy video. I took it the footage with it is a 4K footage. Just I took it out with my Sony A7C. It's a pretty cool, uh, I think, resolution to test this about because this is really something that it can come from out of one of the cameras. I did not manipulate the uh, GPU effects or I have no crazy stuff. I have like animated text as you will see in, in, in later. But it is not something crazy. There is no color correction or anything else that it can really take advantage of the GPU. It is just pure raw footage. I just I, as I took it, I prepared here the lighting conditions in my studio and I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks okay. And um, that's how we're going to use it. I will show you how to activate the GPU capabilities before starting the video. To just start DaVinci Resolve, start a new project and go to the DaVinci Resolve tab and go to preferences directly, very, very straightforward. And then go to memory and GPU. And in memory and GPU, you will find already the settings that probably DaVinci Resolve already identified as best when you install the software. So this is going to be probably GPU processing mode. Here you can um, select from CUDA or OpenCL, depending on if you had an NVIDIA graphics card, you can select CUDA, but you can also select OpenCL. And if you have an AMD Radeon graphics card, you need to select OpenCL. Probably just leave it in auto and it's going to be perfect. Just be sure that this is activated. This is going to be like the magic trick in this video. And then GPU selection, maybe you have two NVIDIA GPUs at your desktop PC or something like that. Just be sure that you are selecting the correct ones that you want to use. In my case, I have an Intel UHD graphics. This is an integrated GPU and I have the NVIDIA RTX 5000. And DaVinci Resolve is not even letting me choose the integrated graphics card because probably it's just just to be much much better using the nvidia graphics card but yeah this is pretty straightforward just go into the davinci resolve tab preference and make sure that the selected gpu is in this case activated in order to accelerate as well the timeline and the design i will recommend you for example go to the code options tab 
and then make sure that the decode uh, H264 or H265, depending on your footage, but just be sure that it's activated pretty much all. This is pretty much just two clicks that you need to do in order to be sure that your GPU is being utilized by DaVinci Resolve. To begin the test, I will just show you pretty quick the specification on the computers and how the settings looks for each of these computers. Yeah. Let me show you here. For example, this here that I have, this is the Razer Blade Studio. It has an Intercore i7, as well as i7, 8 core 16 threads from the 10th generation. It is using now 10 gigabytes of memory RAM around. The Intel UHD graphics is being used because I am recording in OBS Studio just for, for this. I will shoot down, this is very important, I will turn off very uh, OBS Studio recording before starting the render. And I have an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000 and the settings in the studio, as I just showed you before, it looks like this. Yeah, the NVIDIA Quadro RTX is being selected and that's how it looks. This is the, this is the video. And what I will do is I, what I usually do for my videos. I go to the YouTube setting, pre-setting, I select 4K and then I will use the auto type encoding. And that's how it's going to DaVinci Resolve be smart enough to take advantage of the hardware that I have. In the latitude, as you can see here now, I am as well recording. That's why the GPU is being utilized. I have an Intel Core i7-3065U from the 15th generation. Uh, this, is a, this is a mobile laptop CPU, CPU from the newest generation. It's pretty, pretty cool CPU, very efficient. I, have as well, I am using now 13 gigabytes of memory RAM from the 32. And the GPU, as I just mentioned, is being utilized. And the GPU in this case is the Intel Iris Xe graphics. These are pretty cool. And in DaVinci Resolve, it looks like this. In DaVinci Resolve, when you go to the memory and GPU tab, it looks like in the GPU processing mode is in auto and it's using OpenCL and the Intel Iris it is being selected. So now I will stop as well the OBS recording and we can start just render the whole video. This was a long video, this was a 40 minute video so it's going to take time to render. I will speed things up in this other camera here just to show you like how fast it was but let's just start the render. Let's, let me try to get it on time again. Yeah, add to render query. I will just leave the untitled name as it is here as well. YouTube, yeah, add to render query. I will just leave the untitled name as it is. YouTube 4K and in auto, add to render queue. And let's start in three, two, one, go. A few moments later. Let me show you here a little bit of the status. I will just open the open the task manager just very quick to show you how this really works. As you can see here, the GPU, the NVIDIA RTX on the Razer Studio, it is being used, it's, it's being almost utilized fully, like 10 gigabyte, the video decode, the video encode, the, the copy, as well as the CUDA, let me show you, it's going to be fully utilized probably. No, oh, in this case it's using, it's using pure pure video decoding and encoding, which is actually pretty cool. And the CPU is not that much utilized, and we are at 15 gigabytes of memory RAM. But yeah, this is a pretty cool thing. Uh, the GPU is being full, almost fully utilized. Let me show you the status of the render. The render is now at 57%. This place, we have here the Dell Latitude 5440. It's a pretty cool laptop, don't get me wrong, guys. It's a pretty, pretty cool laptop and it's very powerful as well. So as you can see here, the CPU here is being almost utilized 100% and both computers are plugged in. So there is no performance losses because of uh, no power. We are almost at the same 16 gigabytes of memory RAM being utilized in comparison to the Razer Studio. But as you see here, the Intel Iris Xe graphic is not really being utilized for for renderings it's not really being utilized to decode or encode the video it's mostly utilized the integrated gpu to process all the tasks that davinci resolve is doing in the background but not really for the for the video rendering i just want to show you for example here it is already it is only being rendered nine percent and the racer studio is already in 67 percent so you can imagine who's going to take a look here it, it says that it's going to be like one hour at least remaining and in the Razer studio we are like at three minutes remaining 
So I will see you now then in one hour approximately. One hour later. After a very long time, like one hour and 30 minutes or something like that, I'm back, I'm back. The, the, the latitude just finished. It took around one hour and 20 minutes <laughs> to render the video. And the Razer Studio, it took only 10 minutes and 27 seconds. And this guys, pretty straightforward, is the reason why you should have a dedicated GPU in your computer. Doesn't matter if it is a laptop or it is a desktop. If you want to edit video and render videos and output videos as fast as you can, like really like optimizing your workflow and really accelerating the production of your videos, you need GPU acceleration. This is one, this is an amazing technology that came years ago into the market, into the commercial field, and now uses in the mainstream market, customer market, now we can really take advantage of it. And I really recommend it to you. Just take a look at the numbers again. One hour, and, one hour and 20 minutes, the computer was here with one of the newest Intel Core i7 mobile laptop generations, uh, mobile laptops processors that we have in the market now. It, with that one amazing computer, amazing build quality, pod selection, display, battery. It's a, it's a really nice laptop, this Dell Latitude. Don't underestimate it. It's an amazing laptop, really an amazing laptop with huge performance in the CPU. And the graphics card, even if it is integrated, it's a very good graphics card for a normal user, for business usage, for the whole day traveling or something like that. It's a very good graphics card, even as well to consume media in 4K and everything. But there is no comparison, like literally no comparison when you have a dedicated graphics processor unit or graphics accelerator in your device, pushing that parallelization task into it. It may depend, of course, in the model of GPU that you are getting. This is a, this is a high end or very high end mobile laptop GPU, but it is a three years old laptop. Probably one of one NVIDIA RTX 4060 or 4070 is going to make an amazing job. Probably even better than this. I don't know. That's the recommendation. If you want to edit video again, just get a laptop with another dedicated GPU. Guys, thank you very much again, like always, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it's a pretty quick video, but I really wanted to show you this. GPU acceleration and GPUs in general is going to be the future of computing. So, see you until the next one.